Let me take a selfie. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Orkain. This is the new version 4.81 PS3 firmware update. That was been requested from a few of my subscribers. So I hope you guys find this tutorial useful. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arkane. As you heard, heard from the as you guys heard from the intro, this is on how I fixed the the version 4.81 update. So to begin with this video, you take your you take your PlayStation, you flip it around. You don't have to do anything to the screws on the bottom, just here. Normal star screwdriver. Unscrew this screw. The blue one is for to release your hard drive. Alright, let's just put this here. Alright. Just close this cap here. No need to close it. Alright. Then you just take this this little plastic cover, slip it to the side, put your finger there, lift it up, open it, that's how it looks like. Okay, let's put this there as well. Here's the hard drive. Alright, let's just put the console at the side for a moment. Okay. This is my laptop's hard drive that I put in. Okay, I'm gonna put a normal hard drive back in so that guys, I can show you guys what I did. Right. This is not gonna be a video where I'm gonna cut anything out. This is gonna be a full tutorial on how I did this. Cool, let's head over to the PlayStation. Okay, here's the PlayStation, here's the hard drive if it's casing. Just slide it back in. Alright, no need to close it or anything. I just want to show you guys something, I just put a normal drive back. Let's head over to the screen. Alright. It says on the screen, connect the controller using a USB cable and press the PS button. Let me do that. Okay, it says the system software cannot be run correctly. Press the PS button to try and restart the system. If the system cannot be restarted, you must reinstall the system software, connect storage media and that contains update data version 4.81 or later. And then press the start button, start and select buttons at the same time. For information on how to obtain update data, refer to the SIE website for, more, for your region.
you guys can read it. Okay, so basically guys, I'm not going to go through all this again, downloading everything again. Basically, you just have to, I'm going to leave the link down in the description again on where to get this, um, this, this update. And you put it on a memory stick. Once you've put it on a, on a memory stick, a flash drive, you hold down these two buttons, the select, the select and start button at the same time. Once you've done that, it's going to say checking. And then it's going to go into allow you to update via the storage media. And then once you've updated, the console should be fine. If not, leave a, leave a comment down below. Let's see if I can help you guys with that. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you guys a lot. Sorry, this is not the most professional video ever. It's just trying to help you guys. If it doesn't, this doesn't help, leave a, leave a comment down below telling what's the problem. I'll see if I can help you guys. Thanks for watching. As always, peace out.